talk about Mr. Beast. This is the first of 100 wells we're gonna build in this video. What's up, people? It's your girl Adiola. Move closer. <laughs> if you do not know Mr. Beast, he's the biggest YouTuber in the world with 210 million subscribers, Baba. And that was more than the population of Nigeria. Ah, for that, what am I doing with my life, guys? Eh? Help my market subscribe to my channel, too. Anyways, he is beyond successful. He has successful businesses selling hamburger, chocolate snacks. He has funny videos, game videos, different challenges where he will give money at the end to whoever wins the challenge. But but part of what he does is to give back. In fact, he gives money to people randomly. He's got his own charity organization, The Beast Philanthropy, and he's giving back on a huge scale. He has accomplished so much already at the age of 25. In one video, he filled up five school buses with supplies to poor schools in America, starting in his own community. I filled five buses to the brim with school supplies. We're traveling across America to one of the most underfunded schools in the country to help kids in need. But first, we wanted to help out four schools in our own community. And to kick things off, we took those school buses and filled this gym with school supplies. When they see this today, it's gonna blow them away. Somebody really cares. Ah, Baba, that is very, very impressive. In that same video, he gave out a brand new car to a teacher whose car kept breaking down. I overheard that one of their teacher's cars keeps breaking down, so we decided to give her a little surprise. I wanted to surprise you with a new car. Really? Yeah. It's right outside. You want to go see it? Yeah. <laughs> this is all yours. Oh, thank you. This is so cool. <laughs> wow. In another video, he partnered with another organization to give out free food that would have been wasted, including food that they got themselves worth $30 million. So many people came out, literally hundreds of people from all across the community. And that's what we love to see. We love to see people coming together over the shared value of food. Guys, I am trying not to cry, like for real. Ultimately, Mr. Beast is changing lives. In October of 2020, he provided over 50,000 Thanksgiving and Christmas meals to families in his community. But you know, the reason we're talking about him today is because he expanded his charity to different African countries. Kenya, Cameroon, Zimbabwe, Somalia, Uganda, building wells. Last year, he built some in Cameroon. And this year, he went back and guess what? He built 100 boreholes. Oh, oh, you just witnessed a small village in Kenya get access to unlimited clean drinking water in less than a second. One down! 99 more wells in Africa to go. You're going to love this video. Combined, these 100 wells are going to give around half a million people fresh water to drink. See? I don't know Mr. Beast. I have never met him. You know, he may never see my video. But I'm giving him a hug electronically. Mr. Beast, move closer. I'm, I'm giving you a hug. Take it. Take it. Take it. <laughs> thank you thank you so much you have done well you not do well god bless you and he didn't just dig wells guys he equipped a school with a projector he equipped a school with computers he donated free bicycles for all the students at his school he built a bridge for a village where their makeshift bridge had claimed three lives during the rainy season so more than five hundred thousand lives were changed within the eight months of that project the link to the full video of what he did is in the description below please watch it you will be tossed he touched me he touched me now for those wondering i did not see any hint of white savior mentality in his video because you know i've seen some africans accusing him of trying to be a white savior see i don't have time to address your matter right now because if your government officials are doing what they are supposed to do the guy would not even end to step in in the first place don't be mad at him. Be mad at those who failed you. <laughs> There's another video of what he did in Zambia. I was speechless. But you know, I'm talking about this today for two reasons. Number one, it is to remind you guys, like I always say, that anybody can make a difference. You do not have to be a politician to touch lives. And you don't have to have his kind of money to touch lives. If you don't get anything out of this video, please let him inspire you. Watch this video. Let it inspire you. There's somebody in your network that only you can reach. You know, I read one of the comments on one of 
his videos this was written by a mom who said that since her son started watching mr beast that her son has started giving to the less privileged as well wow it's rubbing off on people but you know the second reason why we're talking about this today is to once again challenge our officials in africa you guys have no you have no shame your eyes are not pushing you did you guys see the water that the students were drinking one of the teachers showed me where the students currently get their water which is from this river that's extremely unsafe to drink this is where your students used to get water from yes this is crazy yeah you know students complaining of diarrhea infections like typhoid because this is the water we've been using so yeah. we try to treat but you see look at it, it you know but at the end of the day life has to move on you have to get some water anyway Kai. Ah, baba. they must have been drinking that water for years so no official saw them or saw the need to dig them Meanwhile, somebody would have been allocated the funds to provide them water. We should not even be talking about boreholes in 2023. Those kids should have running water in their homes. Somebody is sitting on the funds, on the money. They are using it to build mansions for themselves while the people suffer. You know, it took a 25-year-old YouTuber to come and do your job. Why are you guys not ashamed? African officials, are you genuinely? All of you that were appointed, elected, and selected to represent the people. But you are using the money to enrich yourself. To, ah, a bear will long have the fear of God. Not just in Kenya, by the way, but all over Africa. People need to start exposing them. Nigerian lawmakers, those ones, eh, they are busy buying brand new SUVs at a time that the economy is tight. People can barely make ends meet. How does that even make sense? And our lawmakers are the highest paid lawmakers in the world. It was according to one of them. You know, they were the ones that told us how much their salary and allowances are. Getting paid $38,000 every month. Salary plus allowances. Uh -uh. But then I saw some people saying that, oh, the guy portrays Africa as poor. I said, how? How? If he's portraying us as poor by solving problems, that means that our leaders must be portraying us as rich by failing to solve our problems. So there you go. Mr. Beast is planning to drill a hundred wells across Kenyan schools. I don't know where in. I saw he's even calling some place Nairobi. Nairobi. Eh, no, you can't even say Nairobi. Yeah, you understand what's wrong with these Muzungus? Eh? Eh, Muzungus are very disgusting. Eh? Because Africa is a dark continent, dependent on handouts, dependent on philanthropic interventions. He's promoting as if we are a poor country. We are not a poor country. The problem as regards to extending the uh, the streak of poverty, America is the biggest problem because they are the ones who uh, who who launder proceeds of crime in your banking systems. You understand? Eh? <laughs> what is happening here? Eh? How did we go from Mr. Beast to America? Is there a problem? <laughs> Never mind. This one is not my headache, my brother. Some people said that, oh, he used their poverty to make money by monetizing the video. Dude said in the video that he did not monetize. We're literally not profiting a dime off this video. 100% of the money we raise is going to go towards building more wells like you saw in this video all around the globe. I know it's weird that a YouTuber has to do all this stuff, but someone's got to do it. And if no one else is, we're going to do it. As you can tell, it really does change the lives of the communities where we build them. More importantly, guys, the main lesson in all of this is to remind us that we cannot continue to wait for our leaders who have continuously failed us like mr beast the change must begin with us amen somebody huh so today i'm giving you guys two opportunities to change lives if you would if you are able to we are begging you in the last video i told you that a member of our foundation that is dr sesson luashola is doing free fiber surgeries in Ibada, nigeria you guys will not believe this but 127 people applied but we only have money for like 15 people. I can't tell you guys how heartbreaking this is for me. I, again, it's not too late if you like to donate. It costs 500,000 naira per person. That's about $500. And that money covers the surgery, medication, and admission at the hospital. They've already started the surgeries, by the way. It will go on until early December. And then I'll update you guys when all the surgeries are done. So if you're able to help us with that, please, please help. The second opportunity to change lives is the Africa Bitcoin Conference taking place next month in Accra, Ghana, December 1st to the 3rd. This this is their second conference and you have the opportunity to sponsor young people to attend this tech conference it's all about bitcoin tech you know and this is where they can meet top tech companies that can train or offer them a job an opportunity for them to network that can change the trajectory of their lives so they're looking for sponsors if you have a business they will advertise your business at the event please if you're interested contact my very good friend from togo that is the convener of this conference that is Ms. farida 
Ega Naburema. So guys, thank you for watching all the way to the end. So did you guys click the thumbs up button yet? You want me to beg you? Okay, I'm begging you out. Click now. <laughs> all right, y'all. It's been Ru and I'm keeping you right up in here. Don't forget to follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And if you yet to subscribe to my channel, I'm watching you on Plasma TV. Press the subscribe button and the bell button. Until next time, I'm going to see you later.